Michael Thornton and Logan Couture tonight? Uh, game time decisions. Both of them are skating uh, here this morning, and then we'll, we'll decide at game time. What is it, the repercussions of your lineup, how big are those two guys, not just on the ice, off the ice, on your bench, part of your team? What's it mean to you? Well, I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, obviously important, you know. I, I think, I don't think you can understate their importance to the group, but I also believe we're built to handle injuries and we have depth and, uh, you know, you can't feel sorry for yourself in this league. It's next, next man up and uh, we played without significant players at different points over the last two years and, and managed to uh, stay competitive, so that's the plan. Pete, if, if Logan and or Joe are in, um, Milan Lucic said this morning that you don't go out of your way to hurt anybody, but you definitely want to let them know that they're there. How do you guys handle that from your perspective, uh, f from your side with maybe their guys being a little extra physical with guys that might yeah. be up? I, again, you know, you're, you're talking about guys that, that uh, they've seen that before, you know. We've seen that before. We, we saw the same out of Milan Lucic last year in the first round against L.A. That, that stuff... You know what? You got to play through that stuff. We expect it, and we'll deal with it, and like we always have. Uh, yeah, you know what? He's he's been a great addition. I didn't know much about him. Um, I remember speaking to the coaches in New Jersey after we signed them, and you know, the report was basically, "You're going to really like this guy." And, uh, and we have, he's, uh, he's come as advertised. He's a puck mover. He's got a, a real composure to his game with the puck. Uh, he defends better than people give him credit for. And, you know, he's, uh, he's been a, a, a real good addition for us. Pete, can you talk about Martin Jones and how his evolution last, he'd always been a backup, but last year, obviously he proved in the regular season and then through the playoffs that he could yeah. carry a team as well. Yeah, I mean, real similar story to Talbot, you know. Um, Two guys that uh, have come into the league and have had to earn everything they've got. Uh, Jonesy wasn't a draft pick, um, you know. So you have a ton of respect for guys like that. And and what he did last year for us on that playoff run was was exceptional. And you know we have the utmost confidence in him, and you know feel he's going to be one of our best players again here uh, starting tonight. Uh, Pete, you've done this a while. In your in your view, what shows up most on the ice in terms of a team that does have more playoff experience than another? Is there yeah. are certain things that show up that <clears throat> are markers? I, I don't know. You know, I mean, you know, that's that's all. Not that it doesn't mean anything, but you know, it, it doesn't mean anything till it means something. <laughs> you know, whether that's game seven, you know, whether that's, uh, you know, game three on the road and, and you're reeling and somebody says the right thing at the right time. But that can happen with young teams, too. So, you know, we're, we're not paying a lot of attention to that. We're excited about the opportunity. Um, I feel we have a group of men that, that thrive at this time of year, and I think they've proven that over the years, and I think they're ready to do it again. Pete, just back to, to Joe real quick. I mean, what do you need to hear um, from doctors or from him to be comfortable with him playing? I mean, I know in the playoffs you play through different stuff, but does he need to be at no risk of further injury? Or? Well, I think that's always the case. You never want to risk further injury, but this, this is going to be Joe. Joe's going to make that decision um, and, and nobody else. He'll, he'll tell us, and, and it's not just whether he can play, whether he can play at a level that he can help us and, uh, he, he knows his body better than anybody. He knows his game better than anybody. And uh, when, the, when he's ready to go, he'll go. And hopefully that's tonight. You play Vlasic against a lot of the top guys. You know, last playoffs, it was Crosby in the final. Now you got McDavid. His speed, how different is it? How much focus do you guys put on the one individual to try to slow him down? Well, you know, again... I, you have to pay attention to them. I mean, you look at the analytics, I don't know, I think it's 40-something percent of their offense, you know, is through him. And, you know, but at the same time, you can't uh, underestimate the other guys they have and, and the, 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 uh, the depth of the group. I think, I think that gets lost sometimes, you know, with all the McDavid talk. Uh, this is a deep, 
deep group of offensive guys, and they and they can hurt you a bunch of different ways. So, yes, we're we're focusing on him and and that speed. And uh, you know, again, you have to defend him as a five-man unit. You're not going to do it with one or two guys. But uh, you know, we're also focusing on their group because uh, they've got a talented group. What is it about Vlasic and Braun specific that they do so well against? top pairs is just their communication their angles uh, why are they such a good pair for you well I, I think I think they take a lot of pride in their job which uh, you know everybody wants to score uh, you put you you start playing hockey you want to score goals and uh, these guys take pride in in defending and uh, taking the wind out of the sails of of very good players and uh, you know that's that's rarer than you think at the NHL level. And they do complement each other, but I think that's the biggest thing. They, they, they take a lot of pride in that, and uh, it's great to have them on our side. Okay.